checking your thread feed. It's not only important to check the tension of your upper thread, but also its smoothness. You require both in order to sew well and reliably. This video is also applicable to the single head butterfly because it's the same design. So let's take thread number one here. And what we're going to do is just pull on it real smooth and slow. What we're doing when we pull it, we're, we're feeling it. Is it too tight? Is it too loose? Is it bumpy or smooth? Uh, well, first off, you have thread tension knobs up here. So ideally, when you're pulling on this, you're balancing the upper knobs either loosen or tighten uh, to make sure it feels about right. Uh, after you've done this for a while, you have a sense what feels like a good strength that it's pulling on. Kind of the strength that you would use to tie your shoelaces, maybe a little less than that. Uh, what you want to do if you don't really know the tension is just to take these upper knobs and to make sure this knob is about the same height as the knob at the very top. I can show that later. Uh, and then make make sure they're about even height and then pull on it. If it pulls too, if it's too hard to pull, then you have to loosen it by rotating it counterclockwise. And try to always balance the very top one as well as this one. Can't really see it. And if it's too loose, then you go clockwise and that will make it tougher and tougher. Again, try to keep both of them balanced. Every thread path has two. One here and one at the very top. Uh, the second thing you're checking for is how smooth is it. So notice I'm pulling on this the whole while. Uh, what I'm doing is, is it bumpy or is it pretty smooth? It should be pretty smooth. If your feet's not smooth, then it can cause random thread breaks. If it is jerky, then you've got to check every part of your thing and see if there's a problem. See if you're missing a couple of posts. See if it's stuck on this little check spring. Or see if you're going in the holes in an incorrect order. Uh, see if... Uh, you have something stuck in between the discs. Now when you when the thread runs through the discs here there is a top disc and a bottom disc. The thread should run in between the discs. If it's too loose then you should also check in between the discs. Maybe it's not going in between the discs. In which case you have to be sure that it follows the posts correctly so that the thread is forced uh, in between. What you can do on the upper, on the upper thread one, which I can't show you in this shot, is you can rotate the discs even and then pull on it. You can feel the difference there on different, different rotations. Let's see. And especially you can tell if a thread is somehow bypassing the disc for whatever reason, that will mess your tension up. So if it feels really loose, no matter what you set the middle and top springs for, then you've got to check if the thread is bypassing areas. And if it's stuck, and if it's stuck, then you have to check if your thread maybe loops around one of these posts that it's not supposed to, or if your thread otherwise goes over, say, an area and runs where it's not supposed to. This will also cause too much tension. Uh, so again, when you're pulling it, if it's not smooth, there's probably an issue with your thread path. It should be very smooth and go ahead and pull and pull. Pull yards and adjust live to make sure it's a nice, firm, smooth feed for maybe a minute or two minutes on end even if you are really looking into it. Uh, generally, after 20 seconds of fiddling, once you become good at this, 
it feels pretty good. It feels smooth. It comes out smooth. Uh, there's no bumps. It's not weak, and it's not too strong either. Just, just a little less of the strength that you would use to tie your shoelaces. And here we go. Set it here. Very good. And really, you can go through each and every one after you do the first one. And the feeling you have on the first one, you should have on every other one too. Just, I'm pulling on number two now. It should just feel really smooth and not too bumpy. If it is bumpy, then again, you have to check the entire feed, see if there's a problem, perhaps loosen or tighten just a little bit. Perhaps your middle knob is not uh, an even distance with the top knob. One knob is much lower than the other, or again, your thread is bypassing uh, the disc somehow. And again, they have to go in between the discs and be forced in between it. And not skip any of the holes, not skip any of the posts along their route. Let's close this one. And let's move and look at the upper knobs like I was talking about. All right, here's a shot of the upper knob. Uh, which is the very first thing it goes to. Like I said previously, you want the height to be kind of the same as the bottom one. Uh, and you want to make sure that the thread is forced in between the discs. There are two discs here, and the thread should be running in between it. Uh, and what you can do while you're setting, while you're looking to see if there's a problem between the top discs or the middle discs down below. Uh, sometimes one will just really hold tighter than the other. So what you can do is grab the top part of the disc and lift it away and then pull. You know, with my other hand, I am pulling the thread smoothly and then release. And then when you do this for the top disc, for the top knob and the middle knob down below, you can see which one is kind of how much pressure each one is putting on the thread. And once you know that, you can kind of balance it out by loosening the top one and lifting it and then messing with the middle one, lifting the middle one. And then, then even though there may be not the same height between their top one and your bottom one, they still give the same amount of tension. And that can help with how smooth your thread is fed. And of course, check for issues such as a double loop, which can cause a real hard to find uh, thread break issue. Now, there is a slight difference between the multi-head and the single head. On the single head version, this is rotated at an angle. So gravity is pushing the discs together tighter on a single head naturally. So on a single head butterfly, it's okay to have it a little looser than the center knob. So on a single head butterfly, again, it's okay that this is a lot looser. Again, this trick of lifting up one of them while you are always pulling uh, with the other hand, which I'm doing. Uh, can let you equalize tensions there. And on a multi-head, since this is at a perfect uh, straight up and down angle, you don't have that issue. And the height of the knobs are a decent indicator of what gives you an equal tension. Now, and I mentioned also that there are two discs here. You can actually spin both of the discs aside. Let me lift it again. And when you rotate the disc, sometimes it's a little tighter or smooth or, or looser. So as you're adjusting, keep in mind that another thing you can do is spin the discs around to get it tighter or looser. But even with it, well, if it's too loose, Limburg machines don't like that too much. But if it's too tight, it can still sew decently well. Uh, the most important part is smoothness. So in this video, I talked about thread feed uh, instead of t tension alone or smoothness alone. You've got to have all of it, uh, a smooth feed and uh, 
appropriate attention. Now, sometimes if it's bumpy, it can be the thread itself. The, some cones are dirty on the outside or some cones are running uh, along the very bottom of it and they're jammed up on something and they just create a problem or whatever. That basically, if, the, if it has a problem coming off of the cone for whatever reason, what you should do is keep on pulling it, pull a couple of yards until you completely bypass the, the problem area. Or you just completely take off the outer layer by taking off 10 or 20 yards. The thread is, thread is pretty cheap, so it should be no problem. Just keep on pulling uh, until everything feels smooth. And when everything does, then you can sew and sew well. So that's it for thread feed, thread tension, and thread uh, smoothness. Again, this should be roughly the same for the single head as well as the multi-head. So good luck.